Good afternoon, everybody. Silver Dragon here. Going to be streaming some Project Zomboid today on Zombie Tuesday. And sorry for the mild pinging there. That would be me joining every other chat on my IRC that I have linked up. Uh, that I forgot to do so to begin with. But anyway, uh, as you can see, I have the newest build that we have available to us with all the various bug fixes and loveliness attached to it. Although I can't seem to click on sandbox mode now, I'm noticing. Which is a little odd. Oh, there we go. Just took a while. Hello, Malik. How are you doing today? And we finally got all of our lovely uh, skills back, so we can select it. Yay! I'm going to go Fire Officer, of course, for the Axeman, as I wish to uh, get my axe and swing it at some zombie brains. Uh, strong, as always, because you could always need uh, a little bit more carrying uh, capacity. Uh, which I'm going to balance with, let's see, Short Tempered and probably Light Drinker. Brooding. I didn't see that before. Recover slower from bad moods. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Light drinker. There we go. That'll balance that off nicely. Unfortunately, I can't see my uh, face there. But number two should be my lovely goatee. So, since you're the first one that's here, Malik, congratulations. You shall be the first one to survive. Well, we'll see if you survive. More than likely dying, but we'll see. Played some adventure mode, became a necromancer, and created a zombie army. Sweet. Yeah, I heard about doing that, uh, where you'd have to become an undead and sneak into the uh, necromancer's tower and uh, read some, uh, what's it called? Yeah, read some tablets or something on necromancy, and then you'd be able to actually raise the dead and such. That sounded really cool. I'm definitely going to have to give that a try myself here soon if I get the opportunity. But anyway... Malak, let's see how long you survive, my friend. Continue! To the world of zombies! And there's supposed to be less zombies now as well with this version uh, in the beginning, which will be nice because last time we were just walking around for two minutes and just getting swarmed by hordes and hordes of zombies. It was crazy. Oh, we still don't have our zoom in. That sucks. Oh, well. Let's see, I guess I could just zoom right in on the guy and put him in a corner. Uh, let me see here. Let's create a small little space around him. And I'll put that down here in the corner. There we go. At least now we can kind of see what's going on there instead of being all so zoomed out. Okay, let's lower that baby. And then go see what we can find. Open up. Ooh, definitely going to go to those uh, vending machines, get some food. And whatever else I can happen to find. There's a couple bathrooms, might be some uh, painkillers and such. Ooh, there was nine soda in that one. And since we're close to the uh, warehouse, I can check for weapons in there as well. This is pretty nice. Go, 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 go. Alright, where am I going? Oh, this way. I always forget where the stairs are in here, and I'm like, oh, wait, look for the red carpet. Yeah. Okay, then. Oh, crap! Some crazy dude with a shotgun. Oh, my God, he's insane! Run for your lives! He's shooting random innocent civilians in the streets! And of course now we can hear the zombies uh, that were outside trying to... Oh great, look at all the fun that he just attracted with that shotgun blast. Luckily though, I did just find an axe in here. Pistol. Let's see if I can find some pistol ammo. We found a flashlight. Oh crap, I hope they're not all trying to break their way in here. I didn't set off that shotgun blast. Alright, I'll take the can opener and a cookie pot. Oh, here they come. Alright, let's see about uh, engaging. No, wait, there's a lot of them. Alright, come on. You. Oh, no, I'm getting out of here. There's a few too many there for my liking. Uh, even that one's a little bit... Uh, need some pie quickly. Oh my god! Run, shotgun guy! Run! Run, you fool! Run, 
going, dude? Yo, what's up? Yeah, you really pissed them off, my friend. We should be getting the hell out of here. Good luck with that, by the way. Let's see if I can get around to him and talk to him. He's out the back door. It's gonna take me a minute to get the back door. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, oh crap, run! Oh crap! Definitely don't want to go there, definitely do not want to go there. Okay, so, there may be reduced zombies, but there's still a hell of a lot of them. Yo, buddy, wait, 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 buddy, buddy, hold up, hold up. Bobby, I want to talk to you. You look friendlier than the rest. Okay, is that all? That might be true. Oh damn, lucky I didn't get in the way of that. But not today, don't need a friend, not today. Alright, peace. I'll be leaving you to your death now, thank you. I'll leave you be, indeed. Yeah, I'm just getting annihil- well, uh, damn. Swarmed again. Uh, you found how to reload a pistol last time I watched you, we couldn't reload it. No, I did actually find out how to reload it. Basically before, what I needed to do was, when I had a pistol, and uh, I would hit to have to hit, hold R, basically, in order to really start reloading my rounds. And uh, then I would have to uh, put the clip and the gun, like the clip on the prior, uh, gun on the primary and clip on the secondary. And then I'd have to hold R again, and that would uh, put the clip in the gun and then hold R again to pretty much pre prepare the gun for firing. Uh, that's basically how it turned out that I needed to uh, do it. Uh, they have just patched that though. They've made it so that basically all I have to do is uh, hit R or hold R and it'll automatically load and rearm the gun so I don't have to uh, go in my inventory and uh, pick out the uh, actual Oh god, what's it called there? I don't have to pick out the uh, clip and put it in the secondary slot or nothing like that anymore. Okay, I'll take those. Brains, I'm a zombie like you, Brian. It's funny too. Honestly, I just recently started watch actually watching The Walking Dead. It's kind of sad. It's like I love zombies and all that, but I just... Never really got around to watching the series, and I finally, they were having like a marathon, and I saw the first uh, couple episodes, and I, and I was like, yeah, I like that, I really do. Burns. Burns. Okay, closing that door. So, I better get some stuff in here and get out before I get trapped. All right, I need a saw. I got an axe. I need a hammer if I can see one. Can't really see much of anything here. I got some nails. Uh oh, Just trying to break in. There's the hammer. I think. I hope. Okay. Let's go brace myself upstairs then. See if I can take a nap, since I'll probably be tired soon, I would assume. Oh yeah, there it is. Exactly on time, just as I said it. I got the tired mood light. Man, it's funny. At this distance, I cannot see any light switches anywhere, so I'll just have to wing it. Without a light. As they slowly try and... Oh wait, I walked into the bathroom instead of the bedroom. But I guess I can get some antidepressants and some uh, beta blockers. I thought they weren't they gonna get rid of beta blockers eventually. I'm not too sure on that though. I couldn't even remember what they did. Oh crap! I'm trapped behind the door. Let's close that up and take a nap. Ah, oh, I thought I heard somebody there. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that's fixed. Uh, some of the uh, issues like the nail bat not being as effective as the uh, plain baseball bat. I believe that was fixed, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check the food out. Ooh, we got a banana. And a watermelon. I'll leave the other stuff in here, though, for right now. 
Uh, stove. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, I'll take some more nails. Nothing of interest here. Huh. Now it's like thinking, where should I set up a base? Hmm. I think I'll set up a interesting little fortress in the actual wild. So I'll head into the, uh... Head into the trees over here and see if I can set something up without dying horribly. Which is more than likely because, yeah, I'll be surrounded by trees and no line of sight. Oh crap, they're shambling towards me! Go, go, go! Yeah, there's a couple zombies in here. Alright, let's find me a nice secluded spot in here that I can start, uh... Construction. Uh, Turning around now. Nobody saw me. Nothing to see here. Run, Forrest, run! Go, 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 go. Okay. Uh, no, this leads to the same thing. I don't really want to get surrounded by them, but I do need to be close enough that I can actually get back. Hmm. I guess this section here might just have to do. Yeah, whoa, a bit of lag there for some reason. Anyway, uh, let me get my crafting menu open here, and we can start construction. Alright, open that up, drop all my planks, uh, the hammer, come on hammer. Nails, I would love to rest and meditate on what I've learned. Okay, nail plank, stairs, I do need a stairway first. I'll put that in my inventory for now. Then the rest I'll need flooring, so I will skip out on that for now. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's put this in my secondary so I can start uh, building. Get the stairway out. I'll build it like this. That way I'll be able to uh, walk around it. Okay. I might even get multiple. Well, no, I probably won't get multiple stairways because it might make things difficult for me. Uh, let's see, I'll take these three wooden planks, add a side to this, oh wait, what the heck? Okay, that was weird. Anyway, uh, distraction over with, let's uh, start chopping wood. Swing bada, come on bada, swing that axe. Oh, I love that animation. You can probably see it better close up there than I can. But it looks pretty nice. Wow, this is a tough tree. It's probably going to have an absolute ton of logs. Or so I hope, at least. Alright. Swing! Okay. The tree does not want to be destroyed. Got it. Uh, I've already, I'm already well fed, so I can't really... I'll eat some crisps, though. Maybe it'll make a difference. Or, yeah, pop. There we go. Swing! Charge and... S oh, come on, it's not going to do it. Whew. Wow, I'm getting absolutely exhausted just trying to take down one tree. This is going to take a while. Chop down, tree! Why won't you chop down? Okay, clearly this tree is not going to get chopped down. So, yeah, I'm going to have to try a different tree, or I'll have to find an alternative source of wood. Uh, I believe there was mention on there, though, that they had fixed something along those lines, but I wasn't, I wasn't too sure what it was. Got a light over there. Alright, let's see about chopping this tree down. Yeah, they fixed uh, chopping down doors and trees or something like that, but... Seems like it's still not quite working too well. Anyway, I'm absolutely exhausted now and I need some more sleep apparently. So I'm going to crawl my way back to the uh, house there. Run in. And uh, see what I can do. Uh, no, I don't want to eat no chips right now. So I'm waiting for this exhaustion to wear off. Alright. Now i got to run back before I... Uh... Oh, great. Uh oh. I hear zombies. You can't have my brains! 
That's too bad. I would like to have put it right here, but it seems like zombies spawn there. Oh god, I can hear a lot of them. And I like the uh, new skin for that as well. Look at that. It looks like his midsection was uh, axed in half or something. Or someone was trying to take an axe to his chest. Anyway. Let's open up the wooden door. Head to the side. Close it up. And then head upstairs. Which is too bad, too, because it's just getting like light outside. So I'd prefer to be outside working right now than uh, running around uh, at night. It's a little riskier. But anyway. Sleep, good sir. Yes, I wish to sleep. And yes, I would most definitely love to increase my hauling skill. Please do. Wait. There's a bug. I now have negative two skill points and three points into hauling, level one. That's an interesting bug. I've never even noticed that before. Cool, I've discovered another one. I'll have to send a tweet over to uh, Lemmy or Andy later. Be like, guess what? Found another bug! <laughs> uh, Alright. Greetings, noble zombies. Oh god, I can't see a thing. Oh crap. Quickly, quickly. There we go. Alright, now I can see. Sort of. Barely. But that's alright. As long as I can partially see, it should be fine. Go, 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 go. Alright, let's see where that tree is I was attempting to chop down and give it another couple whacks. Hopefully, now that I'm back here, I'll be able to finish it off. Even though I kind of doubt it. Yeah, it definitely doesn't want to chop down at all. So let's go to the farm and see if I can chop down the doors there, maybe. Hmm, that's my only guess. See if I can at least get wood from doors. Alright, slowly getting my exhaustion to go away. There we go. Now I can move again. Alright, so the farm shouldn't be too, too far off from here. Run, run, run. Alright, whoa, and then the path just disappeared. I could barely see it. Oh, hello. Nope, that's missed. There we go. Now I finally hit him. Let's see if I got injured any. Nope, I'm good. Alright, I was worried about that for a second. Okay, slowly making my way over here once this exhaustion uh, actually disappears. The axe just totally drains me. It's like, I remember wielding the sledgehammer, I'd get one or two good swings out of it, and that'd be it. Then I'd be pretty much uh, zombie fodder at that point. Okay, oh, there's the farm. And she's got legs. Oh, God, hello. Oh, God, we are surrounded by the undead here. Sorry, no entry. Yeah, that's totally weird. I thought they said they fixed uh, chopping wood and doors in this in this version. Huh. Maybe that was the next version. Let me take a look here. RC2. Uh, let's see. Yeah, fixed tree door chopping. Oh, uh, weird. I guess it's still broken. Oh, well. Yeah, they're going to be breaking through there in no time. Unless, let me try doing it with my, uh, with nothing in my hands, maybe. That might be the issue. Nope. That's not doing it. Uh, swap out the... Where is it? Swap out the axe with my hammer and see if that makes a difference. No, it does not. So, I still can't chop down anything, so I'll just have to survive. Now, they're going to be breaking through that window there in no time, so I better get out of here soon. 
Uh, I'm going to wait for my exhaustion to wear off a bit. And then I'm going to go through the window and run the hell out of here. Okay, there we go. Should be sufficient. Uh, let's get my light back out because I'm going to be uh, away from this uh, light in a second. I won't be able to see nothing. Oh god, there were zombies all over the place. Alright, so I'll only just be able to gather what uh, resources I can actually find. I won't be able to chop down any trees or doors. So, let's see. I need... I will need hinges, though, so I'll have to go back to the hardware store. And the rest of the wood I'll probably find in uh, Kate and Baldspot's house as... Oh, God. We got undead in the forest. As well as... Uh, oh, God. Where else could I find it? Uh, probably in the woods, but I really... I'm going to have to go take a nap at the... Uh, a hardware store so I can get the daytime going on here because I just yeah I can't really see nothing here at night and it's probably gonna kill me yeah and there's the stairs the tired symbol alright so I better get hauling haul arse let's roll come on move it move it move it get to bed wake up in the morning where we can actually see something go 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 there we go we've made it back to town Unfortunately, though, I did leave the door open. Come on, close it! Close the door! Oh, God, that was close. Very nearly let the zombies in. Alright. Let's put the flashlight away in my inventory. Close this door. And now I have three doors separating me and the zombies. And I can always jump out the second floor window. Oh, but they are breaking through. Uh-oh. Are they finally attacking the doors? Let's go take a look. Yeah, I guess they are. It's probably just not enough for them to deal any real damage. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was close. That was close. Holy crap. Oh, back off, fool. Oh, I axed him to the face, but it wasn't enough. Did knock him back quite a quite a distance, though. Okay, I swung at him twice, and I missed both times. Still a bit difficult to uh, hit them properly with a melee weapon. I don't know. I almost need an auto-aim, which is kind of horrible. But anyway, uh, let me close that door. Could also be that my aim just sucks. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, let's head up into the forest and see what we can find in the abandoned shack and uh, such. Let me click the correct one here so I can see how many lovely peoples we have here. Uh, oh crud, I went slightly the wrong way. There we go, need to go around this tree. Into the forest, the top path will work, it doesn't really matter either way, it still converges in the same point. And there's the old abandoned shed. Uh, let's eat some food, good thing I found all this food to begin with. Perfect. And what have we got in here? Soda. I'll take the magazine. Extra battery. Never know when my uh, light will run out. Let's see. What else do we got? And uh, <laughs> funnily, uh, funny enough, once I'm done streaming this, I'll more than likely be watching uh, the entire first six episodes of The Walking Dead again. Just because, uh, yeah, I really want to. I watched the first two on uh, the marathon, and I was like, oh, it's just so awesome. After, Of course, after playing the game, too, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I totally got to watch that now. And uh, I like that it pl painted such a more realistic t uh, t tale on it, I would say. It's like you're not going to, it's just like this game. Was it this game, or was it, which game was it? Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of Daisy, in a way, yeah. Where it's not about killing the zombies, it's about surviving and dealing with the other humans that are living around there. Because killing zombies is easy. It's like it's not difficult to take a take an axe and just stroll through zombies and just chop into brain. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of uh, fun, and I actually like it too. That uh, the fresher the zombie is, the faster and seemingly more intelligent it is. Because uh, remember in the first episode where the uh, guy's undead wife pretty much came walked back up to the house 
Uh, obviously, after they made some noise, so they were all alerted from uh, firing a gun. And she actually tried to open the door by using the handle. And I thought that was pretty awesome. I was like, damn. It's like, you think you're safe in your house with your doors locked or something until uh, some undead starts trying to, like, or until, with your doors closed until some undead starts, like, wiggling the handle. So, yeah, it seems like it. they keep a little bit of what uh, was left of them before. So, I really like that. Uh, anyway, I need to go get some hinges now. I have six planks. That's probably not going to be enough. But it's enough for a start. So I can get a, at least a door and a floor. Well, I need a door frame, then I need the door and the floor. For the fort and the forest of fear. But we're going to have fun in the forest of fear with the door or the floor. And yeah, I, I can't do that. I, I, I try. Well, it wasn't too bad. I was get. It wasn't. I was doing too bad for that. Oh crap! They're breaking through. Quickly. Any more planks in here? Nope. All right. Peace. Let's open up the window. Oh no! We got undead. Crap, so I can't get the uh, doorknob and such if they're in there. Unless I managed to randomly pick it up as I was like spamming the left click. No, I picked up a bunch more hammers. Okay, that's not gonna help me too much. Okay. Oh crap, walk through a room. Oh god. That's not good. Click, spam, click, spam, click, spam, click. And let's hope I got what I needed. Alright, let's go hide in here for now. Come on, open the door, open the door, open the door. Oh, that was close. Okay, what do I got? What did I pick up? I got another hammer, that's it. Oh god, I'm being eaten! Back, you demon! And I can't hit him. I'm like, sit I'm standing right beside him. I hate that part of it. I'm standing right beside him, I'm aiming directly at him, and swinging, and it's not hitting him. It's like, maybe I just have to aim a little bit more, like, higher, or lower, or something, I'm not too sure. There we go, it's one down. But I don't think Malik's gonna be surviving much longer, sorry Malik. I tried, my friend, but I'm afraid you're a zombie fool. There we go, he finally bit the dust. Let's see what kind of injuries you sustained. Oh, yeah, you got bitten. That's a guaranteed death right there. But yeah, this is, uh... Man, of all the things they've added on here lately, I just love it, the new animation system the most, yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see what the uh, modders do with it as well. But I definitely think that I suggested to Lemmy a while ago that they should uh, add, like, uh, model their uh, dev team after zombies, like, uh, get some high-res faces or something here. Add beards or hairstyles that uh, are similar to them. And uh, give them, like, uh, black uh, Project Zomboid labeled uh, t-shirts to wear. Drop some nice loots. That would be really cool. It's like a, an Easter egg, as you will, uh, if you will. Every good game needs an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the lulls of discovering it. But anyway, uh, and like, <laughs> oh man, uh, the unicorn level in Diablo 3, that was just, that that was honestly hilarious. Uh, let's see here, have you uh, grown food of the, uh, fond of the new graphics yet? I love it, yeah, I love the new animation system. Burn yourself in a home? I'd love to. Uh, let's see, I've got scratched in the arm, my lay thigh is damaged, my foot is bleeding and bitten. I've got critical injuries, I do not have enough to make a Molotov, I don't think. Uh, I have no alcohol. I don't think I can make it with, uh, well, let's give it a try, because I should, you should be able to make it with, uh, well, no, that's honestly, you can't make it with a plastic bottle because, oh god, look at all that blood. Of course, I'm leaving a trail of blood. Let's turn on the light if I can. There we go. At least I can see what's happening as I slowly, slowly die. Bleed to death. Close that. Any lights in here I can turn on? Probably not. Nope. Well, let's have some good food before I die. 
Come on, pick up the bread. Let's eat that. Have ourselves a juicy orange. Alright, let's see what's in the cabinets here. 